hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to yet another travel vlog travel guide travel video whatever you want to call it but we are here in boston and i am here with my friend michelle and you probably already met her if you watched my baking a pumpkin pie without a recipe video which i'll have up here for you guys if you do want to go check that out but like i said we're in boston and we are so excited to be here we have so many things planned so stay tuned i hope you guys enjoy and before we get started make sure you give this video a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe and let's get into it by the way we are staying at the hyatt regency and this hotel is stunning like literally one of the nicest hotels that i've been in and a good minute and it was very affordable um i'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of our room and then once we go down to the lobby because we are gonna go explore now i'll give you a tour of the lobby area but this hotel is so nice so if you're coming to boston definitely check this place out i'll have it in the description for you guys below so i figured i would show you guys around now before we make ourselves too much at home but this is the bathroom really great lighting then we have a little closet area and the two beds, but the view, the view is where it's at. How nice. All right, guys, we are walking in downtown Boston right now, trying to find Quincy Market. Should we be walking at night in downtown Boston? I don't know. But we've got the address here. We're about 10 minutes away. I almost just fell. <laughs> I almost just fell, but I will see you guys there. All right, guys, we made it safe, alive, and well. Let's take a look. All right, you guys, so we just wanted something very quick to eat. I got a chicken Philly and Michelle got <laughs> nuggets and fries. We just got it from inside the Quincy Market. They have like a whole row of different food vendors. So we're gonna eat this and then I think we're probably gonna check out possibly ice skating. So I don't know, let's find out. All right, it's gotten progressively colder outside. It's probably like 40s maybe maybe 30s who knows um very cold for me the food was uh <laughs> not good <laughs> food was a uh, um zero out of ten i'm just you know here stealing michelle's french fries <laughs> that are also not the greatest but uh girls gotta eat um all right i'll see you guys later how are your nuggets <laughs> They were so bad. <laughs> they were bad. Did you find your ketchup? Oh yeah, I did. Go. It's pretty some sus ketchup. It's chef's quality. <laughs> Okay, we just got here to Boston Commons, I think is what it's called, um, specifically Frog Pond, which is supposed to be an ice arena or an ice skating rink, but it doesn't look like it is currently up, which is what our Uber driver was saying. So we're just kind of walking around and checking out the Christmas lights, which are so stunning. I will show you guys now. All right, so this has been sort of a fail. The ice rink is not here. The lights are very pretty though. So still check it out. I don't know what they're doing with the ice arena. I don't know if they're opening it anytime soon, but right now, currently not open. How pretty. 
And look, it's a wild Michelle. <laughs> Okay, does anybody else think that it is dangerous that we can open this window and that there's no screen? Like, that is so sketchy. <laughs> Let's go get some drinks. Okay, so change of plans. We had to come back and bundle <laughs> because it's freezing outside. And now we're gonna go pick up some tacos and some alcohol. Yay! All right guys, we just secured the bag from Fajitas and Rita's, which is a super cute little Fajitas and Rita's place. <laughs> um, very cute. We actually didn't sit there because they were about to close. Everything currently here closes at 9.30 because they have a curfew going on. Um, but we picked up our food and we're going back to our hotel to eat it. And we secured the bag as well on our alcohol. Um, we got some wine and some gin, but that was a mission in itself. So if you guys do come to Boston, just know that CVS and 7-Eleven do not sell wine. Um, but there is this place called Gordon's in the area that does have wine and alcohol. So if you're looking for it, definitely check that place out. All right, guys, we just got back to the hotel room. We are in our pajamas and this is our food. But yeah, I think we're going to call it a night here. We have an early day tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Goodbye. Good morning, guys. Let's go get breakfast. Alrighty guys, we just made it here to Friendly Toast and it looks so good online so hopefully it tastes just as good but um, if you guys do come here, this place does seem to get fairly packed so try and put yourself on the wait list on Yelp um, and then go explore and do whatever you want to do and then come here whenever you are uh, called to check in I guess. Um, but yeah. These are some of the fattest pigeons I have ever seen. <gasps> Look at the size of him!
All right, guys, we made it back to our hotel room after a very eventful day. We started off by going to the Boston Public Library, um, which is beautiful on the inside from pictures that I've seen, but unfortunately right now it is not open to the public. Um, but if you guys do stop in Boston, definitely check it out. I know that they've filmed some movies there, one of the ones being The Pink Panther, if I'm not mistaken but definitely check that out and then we went to uh, trinity church i believe is what it's called super pretty from the outside again unfortunately not a place that we were able to go in the inside and explore but still we were able to see the beauty from the outside um but yeah after that we went to breakfast at the friendly toast super good food very nice vibe as well um our server was very sweet they have an upstairs and a downstairs um if you can maybe go downstairs it's really cool down there and after breakfast slash brunch i guess we went to the isabella gardner museum which 100 percent put on your list for things to do here in boston um museum we were there for like two to three hours i think so it's definitely a good amount of time to spend there there's a whole bunch of rooms a whole bunch of history very beautiful a lot of good picture opportunities um but yeah definitely add that to your list as well and now it is about five o'clock we are going to hang out at the hotel for a little bit we've been out and about all day and then we're gonna go grab some dinner so i will see you guys there we're ready we're bundled and we're going to dinner. Let's go. All right guys, so we just finished at dinner and it was really good. Um, I would definitely recommend checking that place out. The vibe there is amazing. Like it's very chill. They have an upstairs and a downstairs. But here's a quick um, tip that a lot of these places here um, only accept cash. So our dinner reservations um, at Giacomo, I believe is the, the name of our restaurant, only accepts cash. And then we are going to uh, get some cannolis at different places and they also only accept cash like Mike's Pastries. So we are at Bank of America right now. They do have a, kind of a lot of them scattered out throughout Boston. Um, and yeah, you just have to come out, pull out cash or just travel with cash because like I said, a lot of these places here are cash only. So just keep that in mind when you guys are traveling to Boston. a busy day tomorrow so I will see you guys tomorrow All right guys, so we just finished at coffee shop number two, which was Cafe Nuro. And then the first coffee shop we went to was, I don't know how to say it, 
tates or tate. All right, guys, I had to cut off the camera real quick because I didn't want to get run over by a car and we were crossing the street. But yeah, we are walking through Beacon Hill right now, which is kind of just this area that has really nice construction and like buildings, um, but they're more like homes. So I'm going to show you guys now. guys everything in boston is like 30 times larger look at that squirrel look at it all right guys so we are currently sitting on the sidewalk here waiting for our uber to come pick us up from acorn street we just took some pictures here because apparently this street is one of the most photographed locations here in boston um our Uber just got here and we are going to Harvard, so I will see you guys there. Alright guys, we made it back to our hotel room and we changed to get a little bit warmer and we are going to dinner now. We were going to go to like a local place, but a lot of the places that we want to go to unfortunately are closed. So we are just going to go to Blaze, but I wanted to show you guys something really quick and it's these little hand warmer things that Michelle got us. And look, all you have to do is shake them. <laughs> Michelle will demonstrate. You just have to shake them and then they get warm and you just kind of put it in your pocket and it keeps your hands warm. So I thought that was pretty cool. I wanted to share that with you guys, but I will see you guys at Blaze. All right guys, so we just finished having dinner at Blaze and it was pretty good. I guess a good way to end our trip here in Boston. Um, we also were walking around back at the Quincy Market and um, unfortunately it is closed. They close at seven and it is 7.40 right now, but we did run into Mr. Samuel Adams here. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head back to the hotel. I'm gonna close out the video here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We have a fairly early morning tomorrow. We have to be at the airport at 6 a.m. So yeah, we're not doing too much then. But yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found something helpful in this video of what to do if you guys plan to travel to Boston. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Check out my Instagram at Shakira Curtis. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, guys, so we are back at our hotel. We have obviously changed into our PJs. We are comfy. We are in bed. And we are going to be testing out the top three places here in Boston for the best cannoli. The best cannoli. Now, I don't even know if Boston is like known for their cannolis. <laughs> I feel like- I didn't know that. I, I don't I know. I thought it was a New York thing. I, same. I thought New York is known for their cannolis. But whatever, there's a bunch of cannoli places here. So we figured why not try the top three of the places that are always in competition. So the three places that we found are Modern Pastry and Mike's Pastry, which Mike's Pastry has, I guess, been around the longest maybe. And is, so it's like the kind of the top dog in this little industry going on. And then this one here is from Bova's Bakery or Pastry or something like that. But yeah, I got all of the same. So my judgments will be based on all of the chocolate chip cannolis and Michelle. I got a lot of different ones, so yeah. we'll see. I like cannolis though, so yes. I get them normally. <laughs> yeah, I personally, cannolis are not my go-to like snack or dessert, I guess, but Michelle loves cannolis, so she's like the expert cannoli person. <laughs> <laughs> so, between the two of us. Yeah, between the two of us. So she's gotten uh, a different flavor at each location, and she's going to judge of that location which cannoli is the best, 
I'm gonna judge of all the same cannolis of each location, which one I think is the best. So let's get into it. All right, so we are gonna start off with Bova's because this is already open, so let's see. Okay. All right, well, <laughs> let's I've got that all flavored going on in my mouth. That was Bova's, so we're gonna cleanse our palette now. So we are gonna do modern next. Again, this is modern pastry. Yours looks very interesting. Yeah. So I got a chocolate filling with almonds. Wow. Okay. I feel like this shell isn't as hard as this shell. I mean, also like, I feel like, yeah, because this one looks thick compared to this one, like the shell. Yeah. Well, let's see, shall we? Let's see yes. the test. I like the filling in this one mm -hmm. a lot. The filling is really good. Mm -hmm. So far, for me personally, I think modern pastry is better than Bova's. It looks, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, it looks like I, you agree based off of you taking your like third bite already. <laughs> okay, do you, do you think that one's better than Bova's? Yeah. That is a very classic like filling. Like I feel like I taste that anywhere. Okay. Um, so nothing really like special about it? No. Okay. Mm -mm. But this filling is just 10 times better. Mm. I don't know, it's not as thick as that one. But okay. I think the almonds did get in the way a little bit. Like too much almond? Yeah. Okay. Now we are moving on to the top dog of the cannoli business here in Boston, which is Mike's Pastry. These cannolis are so big that I'm like nervous. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold it up for comparison. This is Bova's. So you've got Bova's, then you've got Modern Pastry. It's kind of a little thicker. And then you got this giant <laughs> cannoli. Like, <laughs> All of these cannolis were pretty much around the same price. They were $5 each. So this cannoli was $5. Michelle's cannoli was also $5. We paid $10 at Mike's Pastries. We got two cannolis at Modern Pastry and we paid $9.50, I think. So there's not really too much of a difference. I honestly feel like the cannolis at Bova's as well were probably around the same area. We got some um, waters from there, these waters. So I don't know exactly how much the cannolis were, but Look at Michelle's cannoli. What is what is that? I'm so excited. So I got a moose cannoli. <laughs> Look how beautiful she looks. Like you guys would want to eat this. Maybe not, but it's okay. All for me. <laughs> okay. Cheers. All right. So we're back. We've deliberated a little bit more. We've tasted each other's cannolis and I've changed my mind a little bit here. I have tasted just the filling by itself. So without the cannoli, without the crust and without the chocolate chips in them. And I think now my vote for filling, like the taste of filling has to go to Mike's Pastry for my cannolis. I do like this one a lot, like as a whole bite but for filling by itself, Mike's Pastry. But like I said, some like all together, it's a little too much. I think yours has to be Mike's Pastry because it is sweeter. Modern Pastry is just so underrated to me. Like I didn't think about it too much. Yeah. And then I had the filling. So I think that filling, like that creamy filling, which is also different from like what Shakira got. Yeah. Like a lot different, but it's still my favorite. Like that one is still my favorite. But anyways, like I said, I will see you guys tomorrow.